Hey there, I would like to briefly introduce myself again, and then I will go for the tip of the day 19th, which is Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365, Copilot Studio, and so on. You know, there are a lot of buzz around the Copilot that Copilot for Windows, Copilot for, um, you know, Copilot in the Edge, uh, Copilot uh, for the PowerPoint, Copilot for um, example, for the Excel, Copilot in the Power Apps, Copilot in the Power BI. Copilot in the Power App, everywhere Copilot exists. So we will look uh, into that aspect that why there are a lot of uh, buzz around. So my name is Zambi Singh. I'm currently working with Abner Deutschland as a Dynamic 365 um, and the Power Platform Architect. Prior that, I worked with the KPMG, PSN View, Sports, and the Microsoft uh, with the different product groups and the global consulting. I'm also the mentor and the investor of 365 Saturdays and on the Power Community and love to speak and share my knowledge uh, around the Azure, Power Platform, Dynamic 365, any topic you you just want to listen it. Are you eager to dive into the world of you know Power Platform and harness the power of artificial intelligences? to create an intelligent app. If yes, then Microsoft introduced you for creating um, you know, Power Platform solutions with a co-pilot, a cutting edge AI tools that will accelerate uh, the development process and make the app smarter than, than ever before. So Copilot is an revolutionary AI uh, powered tool from the Microsoft um, uh, for Microsoft Power Platform. It designed it to streamline uh, the development, and it's not just for the Microsoft Power Platform, but for everyone. I, I focus on more to the Power Platform because of the whole uh, theme of this advanced calendar. And as I mentioned, it designed to streamline the development process and enhance the intelligence of the application. It is sophisticated um, processing and orchestration engines that working behind the scene to combine the power of LLM, which is the large language modules, uh, including GPT-4, uh, which is um, with the Microsoft 365 app and your business data in the Microsoft graphs. Uh, in short, you can say that Microsoft Copilot implement uh, requires privacy practice. All collected data is then anonymized and aggregated, ensuring that the individual users or the organization cannot be identified. This is strict adherence to the privacy standards means the users can leverage the co-pilot's powerful AI capabilities without compromising their privacy. First, let's try to understand that how does co-pilot work, uh, especially in the context of the Dynamic 365 and Power Platform. So the, as a step one, co-pilot uh, request an input prompt from the business users like me, like you, uh, in an app like a Dynamic 365 Sales or the Power App or the Power Automate uh, or the Power BI. Then Copilot pre-processing that prompt through an approach called the grounding, uh, with uh, and which improves the you know the specificity uh, specificity uh, of the prompt so that uh, users get answers that are relevant and actionable to their specific task. It does this um, in the part of uh, by making the call to the Microsoft graphs and the data was and accessing the enterprise data, the user um, the user consent to and the grant permission to the users for the retrieval of their business content and the context. So Microsoft also scoped the grounding uh, to the document and the data that are visible to the authenticated users through the RBAC, which is a request uh, role based access control. This retrieval of the information um, you can see um, is referred to and retrieval argument generation approach and allows Copilot to provide more contextual information and input to the LLM, combining the user data with the other such in, other such in, uh, as information retrieval for the knowledge base articles to you know to improve the prompt. Then the Copilot take the responses from the LLM and post process it. So depending on the scenarios, the post-processing includes some combination of your additional grounding calls to the Microsoft Crops, uh, responsible AI checks, filtering with the Azure content moderation and additional you know, business specific constraint and the command generation there. And finally, the co-pilot return a recommended response to the users and send the command back to the app where as a human in the loop, uh, we can review. Copilots iteratively process and orchestrate these um, sophisticated services to produce results that are more relevant to your business, more accurate, more secure, more efficient. Let's quickly talk, uh, uh, have a look in the system, and then uh, then we can see uh, what more we can do. So I have a I have an edge. I have open uh, a Dynamic 365 licensing guide, which is available on my local hard disk. So on the edge, on the top right side, um, you will see there's a copilot. Uh, 
you can start with a new topic uh, which is more uh, the more creative more balanced more precise you can generate document summary bookmark all of this current tab write a joke so example generate document summary and yeah i i understood i acknowledge that one and then it's searching your page for the information let's see what it is uh, trying to generate it so yeah it is trying to summarize uh, the whole document the whole document is of 62 pages it's a 10 by 365 licensing guide which has been updated in the last uh, yeah last uh, 10 days or something and um, I haven't gone through because I did not have a time right now in this busy schedule to go with the 62 pages and it summarized every information for me but maybe um, I'm a kid and I can't understand everything so here I just mentioned um, please summarize uh, this for seven year old okay. and see like if there is any difference so uh, my assumption is it really normalize uh, the text there <laughs> and it is generating the text and really a short and precise text but now i'm smart enough and i said um and then see what it is doing because i don't have a time to just read all of them then summarize the content put it in the powerpoint i have to go and present uh, the dynamic 365 licensing guide um example tomorrow to my colleagues there and i want copilot does this work for me so i have to prepare the five slides and i would be expecting that copilot responded me with the five factual information inside that and let's see so i can take the headers i can take the content i can go for the presentation ready ready to hit uh, and that's all so now you can see like how you can leverage and this is what we call the microsoft copilot this is with the anonymous anonymous user because you haven't logged into the uh, to the copilot yet and um, then also you are able to access the information from the local file which is stored on your uh, hard disk or your local dev box let's see the second scenario and the second scenario is right now i did logged in with my my corporate account uh, and the first difference you see now it is protected and what does it mean if it is protected protected means it is not sending any information to train the ai on the machine learning outside of my uh, boundaries and um, example uh, as an as an corporate employee i have to look for the rfps i have to look for some sales document and some quotes and i don't want that this information go outside of the boundaries uh, to train the model and in this particular case uh, everything what i see every steps uh, will be stored within my boundary it's really secure and if you need a more information what is it protected means you can anyhow look the privacy policy by visiting the copilot so what you have to do you have to go for the copilot microsoft.com you have to log in there once you log in you will be reaching uh, inside this and here i probably uh, need to know more about uh, tell me about security trainings and remember i'm logged in with my corporate account so i would be expecting that i should get some results within my corporate boundaries um and just let's see so i'm expecting now it started uh, searching the results and then it tell about the security uh, one kind of the brief description and then some certification some information so it goes outside of the corporate boundary like you can see the first results came from the infosec infosec institute or something sense org code space cdsc and so on i'm expecting more and more to come here and now i got i got some of the results uh what all training label in our not and now see if i can get more content from within the organization i'm expecting but let's see i have to give some some seconds to respond it uh, i already mentioned you how does it work with four and five steps so of not security trainings let's see thing crossed so now i'm getting uh, started getting response from the avnard itself so you can see the first avnard.com 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 so more and more and more results are coming from there um 
it could crawl uh, within Avnod also. So now you see uh, the last information here, uh, which I can see. Three more and the page of Nod.com. And this is basically the internal page. And this internal page is only accessed by the organization. It's not outside of the organization. So if you search this content without a business account, you probably won't get this results because this is, you know, this is more secured and meant for the internal users, not for the external users. So that was the second glimpse um, I would like to mention. The third and the quick um, thing here, if I just talk about more uh, another part, which is Microsoft Copilot. So this is, as I mentioned, if you go visit their copilot.microsoft.com, you have to sign in either with the personal account or with the business account. So here I'm logged in with my personal, the other example I shown with the, uh, with the business account. This is another product and it's called the Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 um, Copilot. And now the thing is that like, uh, as you see, uh, it is available for your team. So in the teams you can, you can, um, you know, flip around uh, for the words if you would like to generate something uh, based on your, um, you know, your content uh, from the Excel, if you want to use the Copilot there for the PowerPoint, if you need to really uh, provide some more designs there. So more or less it is available for Outlook and everything. And Everything is available um, out of the box for you. So it is the difference with the Microsoft Copilot and the Microsoft Copilot for uh, Microsoft 365 um, is that the, another product is really integrated with your uh, with your root products like uh, off uh, Microsoft 365, uh, you know, Power Platform, um, whatever you just call it there. And this product cost is uh, cost around thirty dollars per month per user not that expensive because then you can save a lot of your time and effort and you get a precise results within the second i mentioned like if i have to go to the 62 pages of the document it take more of my uh, work at, and more of my time which is more uh, expensive but the copilot does the work for me example same here if i use uh, in the powerpoint if i use uh, in the outlook if i use in the excel to you know to get something if they can summarize and give me the average forecast and a lot of things you can do it here so it's worth to use it and it's worth to spend it because they have a proper um, return of investment associated with that. So now we talk about uh, basically the two things and uh, this product basically now you can call, okay, uh, and people used to call it, okay, there's a copilot for Outlook, copilot for Word, copilot for Microsoft Teams and so on. And then you have a third uh, offering which has been recently introduced by the Microsoft in the MS Ignite three weeks back or four weeks back, uh, which is basically Copilot Studio. So Copilot Studio is nothing but Microsoft rebrand their existing product, which called the Power Virtual Agent to the Copilot Studio. And um, for that, you basically, uh, you have to reach to the Microsoft.com, Ian, Ian, like your locale and Microsoft Copilot Studio. You can try your demo. So if you click on the try on demo, uh, you see a demo site there. If you want to try it for free, you can try it for free. So. I just click on the try on demo and I'm seeing this. So let's try to provide some uh, some website URL. So let me just quickly take a website uh, from here. I In the morning, I just talked uh, into this event and let's start talking. So I have to give some minutes. Um, let's check if it already crawled the whole page, but let's try. Uh, tell me about event. I'm not expecting any result here, but let's see if it is fast enough to crawl the website. I'm expecting, now it is crawling, so I'm expecting now the results here. And then it, it tell me, uh, okay, these are the, the results from the page. So it's a one day virtual event. And now the second question, uh, tell me about speakers. Let's see if I'm able to get the, the results here. Again, uh, it is taking time, so I'm expecting the result here, but uh, just let's have a look that it provides me the, the accurate results, which I'm expecting here. And here we go. So we have a lot of speakers here, and yeah, I was part of one of them. If you can see, I just um, speak. But the thing is that at the end of the day, um, it crawled, it provide you the results and you can just write here. 
without any cost. You just try it. And if you're, uh, you know, satisfied with that, then you can go to the next step. And the next step is that you can go with the free version or you can go with the paid version. So if you click on try for free, it will ask you and prompt you to create an account there. I basically had an account. Uh, so basically, uh, it it asks you something like this. So you have to provide your account there. And once you get started, uh, I already have an account, so I'm already reached here. So let's try to create an and copilot with you. And the first thing is uh, Microsoft. And let me just quickly copy the URL, which I am expecting to be copied and here I cannot go more than two level deep. So this is okay. Microsoft licensing bot and I can have an advanced option. So I can choose the specific um, solution where I would like to go. Some of the icons. Anyhow, I can change this later on and I just click and hit on the create icon uh, create button. And then you have to wait for a couple of seconds here um, to, you know, to just uh, that it worked. By the time um, it is loading, I would just quickly go and tell you, okay, now it is there. So we have to stick here. And now you see everything has been prepared for me. So this is an overview. There are a lot of topics inside uh, which can be auto generated entities there. There's a generative AI analytical published. Um, you can you have some of the previews to extend the copilot uh, with uh, conventional plugins and AI plugins. Then you have a setting setting AI. I would like to test it. So the first thing, and I don't want to test it right now here. I would like to test it um, basically to the external website probably. So what I have to do, the first thing I have to publish this and to publish this, uh, publish this, uh, either I have to co come to the setting and the copilot detail here. And uh, then you can have a look for that. If everything is right here, everything is right. What you can expect. If you want to change something, you can change it. You can change it uh, uh, to the later phase, go to the overview. And from the overview, uh, this, this can be, this can be hit. Before that, let me just try uh, to make a chat with that. So I make sure that it's up and running. Tell me about this. Let me just go with the typo and see. See, hey, I'm able to, to get a response. I'm not sure. Uh, and then I have to wait for some time. And just just have a quick look for that one. So on the overview, you will get all of all of the information there that some of the help links here. And then uh, you can have a feedback. You can have a documentation here quickly on the topics like all of these topics, which has been um, which has been auto generated. There are the topics from the system um, and there's the topics which you can create it. So you can anyhow create it, the topics by your own from the blank or from the description. If you go and Created from the description, it means then you are using the copilot here, which I which I mentioned it. So use the copilot in the copilot studio, and then you have an entities uh, like if you really work with the ages, colors, and uh, something, then you can create an entities and it work like a charm for you. So it's it's a common um, common classes, I would say in, in other words. You have a generative AI uh, option here, so you can enable disable right now. Uh, then you have an analytical analytical uh, dashboards right now probably you won't see anything because it's never running it probably would not give it appropriate results but if your bot is running since days months then you can anyhow look for this one and then you can try to improvise um, the bot there you will also get some of the automated um, you know some of the automated content or suggestions here that okay this topic is not performing well so you need to really think about that or there are some unattended um, calls here you can publish it so just click and hit on the publish it take a couple of seconds what it does more like it can optimize this um, um with the other channels so you have an um, external websites you can use with the social channel like a facebook a skype or with the slack you can integrate with the teams you can integrate with the with the other products as well we can have a look for the available uh, channels there and let it uh, wait for a couple of seconds to publish it now it is about to publish just wait for another second and now it's published. So 
we can we can have a look for the channels the other things i already mentioned but now quickly go to the channels here and now you can see this all the channels of what we do have available here so example i would really want to give it to my customer that okay if it is working fine or not and in that particular case i would just quickly click on the demo website i can copy this url i can share with them with my customers or uh, i before sharing i can i can at least have a check okay if it is working fine or not and now I'm just checking if it is working fine. Yes. Um, now check it again. Tell me about Dynamics 365 licenses. And right now I don't want to make a typo here, but just have a look. I'm expecting a result and now I got a result from the website so I can I can again look for the other terms or um, like other licenses other information but this worked like a charm I never did an, um, a lot like put a lot of effort here but I'm able to interact with the pages which I have passed you can add a number of the pages um, if uh, you can add your you know SharePoint information um, if you are allowing it uh, from the authentic like you have to set up the authentication part and everything there so the purpose is not to go very deep into that one because this this uh, this is, uh, recordings are really going longer. I would really love to close it, um, and I would close it now. Uh, but thank you so much for attending today's session and stay tuned with us. I would be definitely showing um, the more detailed uh, informations and the video content on the Copilot Studio in the coming days. So stay tuned with the channels and subscribe it. Thank you so much and have a great rest of the day.